We have one final intern, Marie. Um, she was running late because she had to take a test right before this. So she just got here, so we're gonna close with, with Marie. Um, she's also uh, studying health sciences. She's in C-STEP and um, she really wanted to know about the Holocaust, of course. And again, this sense of being able to connect with a Holocaust survivor was so exciting for her. And she wants to be a registered nurse. And she said how, as a registered nurse, I'll have to work with patients from different backgrounds, and that will include Jewish residents in the community. And I believe that the knowledge I can gain from this internship will help me to effectively care for those patients. And she chose, uh, well, she interviewed survivor Hannah Deutsch, and I chose her because Hannah Deutsch was also a nurse. So I thought they would connect well. So that's my mind. Finally here. Everybody. My name is Marie Mateer, and I conducted an interview with Miss Hannah Dutch. I was always fascinated by the Holocaust story, and even watched some documentaries to give into my inquisitiveness what the social sciences classes that I took did not teach me. When I came to the realization that there was an internship in the Kofferberg Holocaust Research Center here at school, I told myself that it was the perfect opportunity for me to learn about this tragedy. Mrs. Deutsch is born on July 3rd of 1922 in Gosselgoff, Germany. Just like any child, she was very happy and had fun memories with her friends until 1936, where a world and many Jews' lives shattered before them. They were expelled from their schools, excluded from their non-Jewish friends, ostracized from any type of socialization, like the movie theaters and restaurants. What amazed me about her experience are her strength and perseverance after being separated from her mom and stepfather at 16 years old in February 3rd of 1939, where she was lucky enough to be on the kinder transport along 150 other children to London and was still able to make something of herself. After all she went through, her grandmother, who practically raised her, and some of the members of her family who went to the concentration camp, the passing of her father and grandfather, and her parents escaped to Chile, all alone in another country, she managed to become a registered nurse who served in the army because she felt she owed her life to the um, British, dedicating her life and providing care to the wounding soldiers, which, as Marissa said, I would be doing soon. She told me that everything happened for a reason, and her motive after her survival is to tell what really happened during those years. To appreciate her fate and to prevent such a crime, unfortunately, from ever happening again. We have to remember that regardless of ethnicity, race, religion, economical, social, age, gender, disability or physical size, we are all unique and diverse human beings. Our knowledge about different cultures and practices greatly affect the way we treat others. Um, I do understand that as human beings, we all have our differences and we all have um, our qualities. But if we could look at ourselves and understand that from within, that we are all the same and we would be able to treat others as we want people to treat us and respect us. Um, as I sat in this class, I perceived that the little bit that I learned about the Holocaust in high school cannot compare of what I recently learned that the Jews actually went through, especially when one is being informed by the source itself, which was Ms. Dutch. Uh, I'm glad that I had this rare chance to meet her, to partake in her experience, and be able to share it with you today. After our meeting, when I left her, I reflected on what I could do to make a difference in one me, and the community, or in other people's lives. I believe that this knowledge that I gained 
from this superb internship taught me the valuable gift of caring for another human being. And also, it made me realize how precious life is, as I saw how happy the survivors are for still being alive and their endurance regardless of all the disturbance that they went through. It was quite an experience and also a privilege for me to have been part of this internship. I became proficient about the Holocaust history and I could now relate it to what I thought I knew back in school. I think that the school system do not emphasize enough about this long-standing irrational tragedy that occurred. And if people, and I believe that if people were more informed about the Holocaust and participated more in internship or any type of education, educational classes like this one, they could be sensitized by the abomination and be able to comprehend the emotional and psychological shock behind this affliction. Thank you. It was wonderful, Thank it you. really was. But I want to tell you about an incident in my life. We were invited to my hometown in Germany uh, 20 years ago. And I had to think twice, do I want to go or don't I? And then I came to the conclusion, I want to go and see who survived of my congregation, not, not the people in the town, but for, what was for me. And I was allowed to take a person along, so my younger son went with me. And then I was asked when we were there if I would like to speak in the school, the school that I used to be able to go and that I was thrown out of. And the night before, a teacher brought two, two girls to the hotel to speak to me. And one of them said to me, she said, can you tell me something? My grandmother raised me, and every time I asked her a question about this period, I never got an answer. I could have given her the answer. It was right there. They were Nazis. So then I thought and thought, how am I going to start my speech in the school? But she gave me the answer. And when the children in the morning were sitting around me and the teachers were behind me and the press was there, it was a huge class. I looked at her and right into the eyes, because I wanted her to know that the answer was for her. I said, none of you have to carry guilt about that period of time. This was yet generations before you. Because I had heard from people who were in Israel that these, these student, German students used to go to Israel during the summer vacation and work in the kibbutzim. And uh, I'm sure that that class would go there too. I could see her eyes light up. I could hear a <laughs> from everybody. So that, that really was wonderful to me that even so their families were Nazis, they were going to work against it. And I wanted you to understand that. Thank you very much.